Ned, do these comebacks even surprise you at all anymore? No. No, I mean, you knew somewhere over the course of the game that we were going to mount, you know, some type of, uh, uh, you know, some type of uh, challenge there. First, uh, seriously, the first six innings was really tough to see. You know, that the, the glare off the backdrop made it tough. And as soon as, uh, you know, the seventh inning came, we started to get the shadow back there. And I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but that's when, uh, that's when we started to, you know, get a nice run going. On the right. All right. Ned, was there something your guys were seeing in, in Price on that seventh inning that they were able to hone in on? No, no. I mean, we got one hit on the first pitch and didn't get another hit through six innings. Um, it was just, uh, you know, Benny got that hit, uh, got that little hit down the right field line and the floodgates just kind of opened, you know. But the key to that whole inning, uh, believe it or not, was Hosmer stealing second base because that was a double play ball. And that kept that inning going and allowed us to go ahead and get to a point where we could score five runs. That was huge. Central Isle? Ned, even though there was only one hit in the first six innings, it looked like the Royals were coming back in the fifth. Five, uh, there were three great defensive plays right. uh, by the Blue Jays, but it looked like they were right. starting to hit. Right. Well, our guys, they never quit. They keep going. And, you know, even when I went to get Ventura, uh, you know, I told Yodano he was frustrated, you know, with himself. And I'm like, look, we're going to get you off. We're going to get you off the hook here. You know, Hoach, you hold them right here. We're going to score some runs. We're going to find a way to to make this game really, really interesting. And Hoach came in and did a great job. Bases loaded, one out, got out of it unscathed. Duffy with a great inning and, and put us in a position uh, to get to Herrera and Wade to close it out. Tracy in the back there. After Moussakis recovered last year and played up to his level, when he struggled early in the postseason this year, are you a lot more confident that he can come out of it now than say you would have been two years ago? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. And I mean, he wasn't the only one that's been kind of struggling a little bit. You know, Haas has been struggling a little bit. And, you know, both of those guys got key hits today. Um, Moose with two of them. Um, but yeah, those guys, uh, the thing about it, they before they would struggle and start to press. And now they struggle and continue to stay focused on getting out of it. They don't press anymore. Um, you know, they've got enough confidence in their abilities that they know they're just one good swing away from, you know, getting hot again. Last row on the left. Ned, what did you see, what did you see from your dino tonight? From who? Your dino, Ventura. Oh, I thought he threw the ball great. I really did. Um, you know, we stayed with him there in that, in that sixth inning uh, because we felt like his stuff was still good, but he just started battling his command. He's kind of abandoned his uh, fastball a little bit in that inning. Facing the meat of the order, started going a little bit soft. And um, when Yodano's going really, really well, um, it's because he's commanding his secondary pitches. And today he was kind of battling that a little bit. Fastball was extremely good with good command on it. And, you know, kind of got in trouble there with his off-speed stuff and struggled to command it. But outside of that, I thought he pitched great. Manolo right here in front. Uh, Ned, uh, Alexis Rios, who's playing in his first uh, postseason, he had uh, two RBIs in uh, that game against the Astros. He had another RBI in your beginning there. Could you talk a little bit about his contributions yeah. to the uh, Royals? Yeah, he said, uh, today was another big hit. I mean, that gave us a two-run lead going to Herrera in the eighth inning. A uh, little bit of breathing room, but, um, you know, he almost made a great play on, uh, on Pilar's ball there uh, when they scored uh, the first time. And, um, you know, tried to make a great play on the double down the right field line. But, um, you know, he's done a great job for us. He's been getting some key hits here lately, swinging the bat really well, and we're, we're all, you know, happy for him. One last one, Allison. Just want to ask a little more about Hochever. We talk about Herrera and Davis a lot. Uh, but just with, with Hochever's contributions, how crucial was that, what he did today? Well, it was huge. I mean, that, he, there's, a, there's two or three things that you can look at that really helped us win that game. And Hoach's contribution was one of them. You know, they're a hit away from breaking that game open at that point, five to nothing. Um, you know, if it's three to nothing, you still, you know, feel like you've got a shot to mount an attack. Five to nothing, it's a little more daunting because now you've got to score six to win. Um, so when Hoach came in and faced a tough hitter in Pilar and got goings out, then it's like, okay, you know, we've, we can, we still in, we're still right in the middle of this game right here we can put together a little bit of a rally and score, you know, a couple of runs and get right back in it. So what Hoach has done, what Hoach did last night, closing out the game to allow us to give Wade the night off so that he could come in today uh, and close out game two was, was big.